now we're, uh, we're building a false wall for the scene where Lobo goes flying through it. Um, right now I'm building the header, part of the header. For most set builders, we'll be using a wide crown stapler gun here. But uh, we're on a budget and want to save wood. It's easier to take apart with screws. If you look over here, your exterior frame and our foam, this is going to be our block that blows out. It's uh, two inch thick foam, four by eight sheets. There's six of them glued together, cross hatched. And then we'll cut out the pattern of blocks and place them back in there with a shitload of baby powder in between and then mud over top of it. Now the final product is made to fit right into that section. So since the last time you saw it, we faced the flat that we were building and glued the styrofoam in place. Then we stood the styrofoam up and drew our brick pattern on it and cut it out in various chunks. The other thing we did is we painted inside on styrofoam to make it look like brick when it opens up so it doesn't just look like styrofoam because that's going to look bad. Also it's good if you number the back side of the bricks so you know which way they go in when you reset it, so forth and so on. You saw before how we put the wall into place. We didn't actually attach it to the other wall, but we, we stuck it inside here with shins and, and basically used pressure to keep it in there. Uh, then after we set the blocks in place, we used drywall mud to actually set it like mortar and place the blocks and then went over using a skip trowel technique that they use in stucco to match the stucco wall. Now we're gonna paint it and throw a big motherfucker through it. Hopefully it works. Doesn't, well, we only get one take, so.